Hey everyone, it's Mama Does Nails. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Oh my gosh, okay, so I'm having so much fun filming like this because, oops, that's me. You wouldn't normally hear that. Um, okay, so I've got some nail tips ready. I've already sized it to my client. Yes, I have a client, guys. You already know her, Miss Mama. Now she's my broke client, um, but she always wants her nails snatched. So I was really shocked because today she told me what she wanted. Let me show you. Like, what is the world coming to? She threw me this, or should I say, she drew me this. So I'm thinking this is some kind of pop art business. She wants pink, yellow, green, and more pink. And she said, whatever color I can have there. And then this at the bottom would just made me laugh. Um, if you can, please, can I have bling? You see what I wrote there? Wow. That's all I could say. Just wow. So I'm going to try and do the best I can. What? Vertical ombre. And another ombre there. Okay. You're not asking for a lot. Anyway, she said that. And I just said, all right, look, give me a minute. And I said this. So I've taken out some stickers. And I'm going to try and work freaking smarter and not harder. Because I don't know this client, honestly. So let me just like, yeah, okay. So I've taken out some of my, well, a lot of my Inel Couture liners because she actually likes those colors. So what I'm gonna do is I, blah, blah, blah. there's her list. So I'm gonna put the base colors down. I'm gonna do the pink. She said vertical ombre there. I'm just like, I'll, I'll show you what we do. Um, pink there, yellow there, green there, and pink there again. So if you just, give us a moment we will be right back i am just gonna go and put the bases down and then yeah i'll be back please do not go nowhere because this client already feels like it's going to be a problem because bling with this i have to really figure out where i'm going to put all of that stuff like really okay so we're back with this bougie client no i'm joking okay so i have been putting down the base colors now this is the pinky um she was looking for some kind of ombre um, and this is the ombre that I'm going to give her for that nail. So we're just going to put that in the lamp, let that cure. We've got a green nail, we've got a yellow nail, um, we've got a pink nail, and the vertical ombre business, I just did that. She was happy with that. So I've put that other nail in the lamp, and I, I'm going to um put some base coat down on these nails because we have some art to do and also i just want to protect the nail as well so i thank you all for being here with me um and i'm gonna do this um i'm leaving out the boring bits because you don't want to see all of that and i'm gonna come back when we have to start putting down the art on the nails so please get yourself a hot drink it's not gonna be a long video but you do have time to boil the kettle i don't know pour a cold drink just do what you do you know, just keep it, just keep it about you. Anyway, I'm back. I'll be back. Okay. So we've done all of that stuff. She's happy. Um, I bought these stickers, like, I would say definitely at the beginning of my nail journey. I had seen, I think it was Lisette Cruz. She had done a set. I didn't even know where she got the stickers from. And one day I was looking on Shen and I saw them. And I just thought this is so very pop art. So this is the one we want to put on the nail and just measuring that. And you know they are I would say definitely quite delicate I have ripped a few not today but I've used them before a few times so now I kind of feel like I understand you so we want that mouth right here I have already wiped the sticky layer off the tip because if you know anything about stickers, you know that you can't lay those stickers down if it's um, sticky. It's weird, isn't it? You'd think because it was a sticker, it would benefit from a sticky layer. No, it doesn't. So I'm just thinking, is that pink too off? Um, I do. I'm really feeling some drips. I'm just thinking which one will probably look better. These stickers are from Enel Couture. Don't forget, guys, you can use my code. Mama Does Nails. Save yourself 10% when you shop at enelcouture.com. Ooh, it came off. Now, this is me just... Okay. 
I didn't want like drips kind of everywhere. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that drip there. Because remember, as I said, I'm trying to do some pop art, but with, with stickers. So I'm just looking through like the different stickers, seeing what works and what doesn't. Um, okay, so maybe let's look for another drip that I'm almost quite long. So I think maybe maybe this one would finish finish it off. Now the reason why I didn't matte top coat this nail yet is because of the stickers that I wanted to put on. I want to be able to to paint over it. Okay. All right. That's perfect. So I'm just making sure the sticker is indeed stuck down and that's good because I've got something on my lip. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, yes, I'm happy with this. All right. Okay, so that nail's in the lamp now. I've put some matte top coat. I'm gonna use the black striper gel liner. And um, that's what we're gonna use literally to go around the edges of the nail. Oops, 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 oops. Happy hand, happy hand. It's not even a trigger finger, it's a happy freaking hand. Oh my gosh. You know how this is so cool? That's not cool when the, the, the paint starts to drip. So I do want it somewhat thin. Let's try and get it down one swoop and I'm just doing it like that because I don't want to miss the edge guys <laughs> oh my goodness and you probably say like how do you miss the edge you so can miss the edge especially at the beginning when I remember doing nails and I don't know why I'm talking so much because I'm doing line work this is just proof because normally you know you do the line work you do your voiceover no one really gets to see all the trials and tribulations that one goes through. And I have chosen to work on longer nails, so, you know, this is what you get. But you can clean up. Okay, that part I'm holding my breath for because I don't want to clean it too much and then take off the whole freaking line I like this nail stand especially when I'm using longer tips because on the other ones they're so sort of fiddly and um, they um, the nail tends to fall off a lot okay now I am literally going to just try and shut my mouth I'm still breathing. Oh my gosh, I am still breathing, really, I am. I haven't, oh my gosh! What the, what the, what the, what? I, I was just about to say, I haven't checked to see if I'm even in frame, like, because if you're not in frame, none of it's going to really freaking matter now, is it? So, in that moment, yeah, I lifted up my head. Jeez. Okay.
All right. Okay. That line's just a tiny bit thick for me there. Now, guys, could you imagine filming all the nails doing this line? We're not going to have the same conversation. But literally what you saw me literally do there. I need to do that on the other side, going round. Oops. And, yeah. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to make a cup of coffee, guys. I'll be back. Okay, we're still here. So, this is the thumb. I've done the vertical ombre. Um, she said she wants some pop art. I mean, the whole this whole nail is literally a pop art variant. So that's what that's what I'm trying to deliver for her, you know. And I hope I hope she likes it. And also, guys, have you have you tried? this whole pop art trend because oh my gosh let me tell you about how there are so many different like types of pop art and you know what you can do what you like as long as you execute it I mean when I say do what you like like it doesn't have to be so freaking uniform as to what you know everybody else is doing this stuff is seriously like fun okay so let me show you what i've done to the stickers so remember the stickers and i just thought you know with the pop art so i went around the lips a little bit with some more black and i went around those drips so maybe it just needs a little bit of white now i mean i'm absolutely winging this and you know this was my client's idea so I hope she um hope she does like it. I mean she gave me free reign, you know. I don't know. So anyway, like I was saying, nearly got rudely interrupted there. Um Okay, so the parts that had all the white and the black, I am kind of just using the white and the black. I've put it on a palette. And because I did matte this sticker, I am, um, I'm doing all these little extras. And I didn't draw the mouth. So, yeah, we're going over it. And... I think I'm still going to do them gloss. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to put that in the lamp. There. That's going to go in. And this, this is that other nail. So that's that. We're just going to keep her there until we need to do the set top coat. So the one in the lamp is the index finger. Then the middle finger, she wanted it to be pink. So a yellow. So what I want to do is, oops, just touched. I've got a little pencil here. So this is the one that she literally had an exclamation mark um, on the nail. Now this, oh shoot, this isn't your drawing pencil per se. But like Votino said, you can use any pencil. Um, so I'm, that's what I'm doing. So I'm drawing very roughly my exclamation mark. Um, yeah, just making sure we've got that there. And probably better if that was a, like a little square too. I mean, this does not have to be perfect because I'm gonna go over it in black. This is just for me, my little outline, so I can see and know where the art's gonna go. Then I know like to sort of have it 3D, I need to kind of come out here a bit. Um, not too far like that. And just bring that in. And then down here, 
and this is just like an outline for yourself the the black gel paint's going to go all there so it's going to be it's going to be covered anyway yeah There we are. Okay, oh my gosh. So remember I said I was gonna make a cup of coffee? I never made it. Anyway, that's that now. And then the green one, she wants wow. So, oh my gosh. Again, I'm using my pencil to just kind of give myself an outline of where my wow is gonna go. And if you think about it, it's kind of like a cloud. Oh my gosh. It is, it is like a cloud. So honestly, this is not a pencil I normally use, but I've borrowed the children my pencil, like it's not even that, it's their pencil. Um, I need to wipe this now because I realize my, my gloves, I've got so much paint and stuff on them, it's going on the nail. So let me change these gloves. Like, why can I just feel all that? I don't even mind so much as the the right hand, but yeah, this one's got to change. Pardon me. You know, I was talking to like a family member. Um, just like you know, when you want to speak to a confidant, um, someone that's not in your friend circle like your age group just because you want I wanted that advice and um ooh, that's how she be looking and yeah it was really really sound advice because I won't lie like there's something that's just like different about when you talk to some of them you know you got those aunties they are so freaking wise oh this is better my gloves are no longer sticky so, I'm not, oh my goodness, this pencil's going to finish before we finish drawing this little, um, there you go. So, I said, it's just like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's my pencil. Yes, there's my pencil. Thank you, son. And he's brought it back to me, just like, really blunt. I'm not going to even make it as, um, thingy bob as that, as, as tight. I want a bobble. I just want to know where it's going to be. I'll probably use a dotting tool for that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it looks like a sheep. Okay, so that's going to be there. And the only reason why I did that is because I've got some other stuff that I need to make space for. So that's going to go there. And then maybe I'll have there, 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 like that. I'll rub some of it out. Maybe we only need a few. So the rubber works. Yeah, but yeah, as I said, I was talking to my auntie and I had to take her advice because, you know, sometimes when you think something's bothering you and trust me, people, like, it's sometimes even way more than that, way freaking more than that. Um... But yeah, she just, she put me at ease, man. I know that in my heart, I'm not a bad person. And she asked me all these questions, like, and I was like, no, 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 auntie, no, nothing like that. And she said, yeah. She said, look, there's going to be people that literally you're going to, you're going to come across in your life and they're going to hate you. And there's nothing that you can do about that. And, you know, knowing that reality, you just think, Oh, that sucks. But it was just nice to hear because, you know, I'm somebody that from as long as I've known myself, which is my whole life, I always check myself. And probably the only times I never used to check myself was when I was way, way younger. Not that I'm that, that old, but you know what I mean. But yeah, she really, she, she gave me a lot of perspective because as I said, if we had the control to control everybody, then like there'd be no free will. But the main thing that she said is, you know, when you search your soul and you know, you know, the answer and the truth, that's it. So I was just like, you know what? 
you're right. So I leave that down to you all. You understand? Like none of you that watch my video happen to be my maker. Not even my mother's my maker, but you know what I mean. So I just took it as that. Like I said, she speaks and it's like there's a halo around her. She's like an oracle, a real life oracle, but she's my aunt. And she's always kept stuff absolutely real with me. So even though she knew nothing about what was going on, I just told her, she said to me, okay, now I know you. And I told her, I said, yeah, you know, this is what I did or this is what I said. And, you know, I'm not making no excuses. And so if she's going to keep it real with me, one thing my auntie is like, if you've got an issue you want to talk to her about, don't come and start giving her a six for a nine. You better give her that nine. You know, because she would see right through that and that would peeve her off. So I already know um, how she is. So, you know, I did do just that. I told her the realist and I just said, like, you know, the way that it is now. And it's it's kind of like Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't help it. People are going to bad mouth you. People are going to say bad things about you. And she said to me, look, the real ones, the people that care about you, the people who, like, it really matters to are the people and the only people who are going to believe you or stand by your side, you know? So not that it makes it any easier because my personality is different. But as I've got older, I've changed. I have. Anyway, I have been yapping while I'm drawing lines and stuff. And, you know, this is real time. I think, I think I, you know, because my client's here, so we're talking and she's looking over at me and looking over at the time like, uh, I've been here. You know, no joke. You haven't even got a watch on, babes. You haven't even got a watch on. Um, okay, so this is the pinky. Pinky and the brain. Pinky and the brain. Okay, guys, I won't even lie. I'm looking at this video and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's already like 25 minutes and I still got some stuff to do. And I don't want to have to take out too much of my faffing because it has been said that the faffing is needed. So, sorry, I've just off the camera a minute. But um, I just wanted to see from the, the light that wasn't said camera light because I just want to make sure... I'm cleaning off what I'm cleaning. This nail stand, I love it, but I can't even... And I've already made, like, a little mess. All right, I'm going to tidy up this nail in terms of just make sure that black... And I'm not going to do, you know, the, 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 the black things here. We're going to do something else here. But honestly, I think I will save one nail to show you that something else because otherwise it's going to take all day. And I don't want this video to be too long. It's already long. It's 27 minutes. Okay, so I still haven't made the coffee. However, we've done the exclamation mark. We've not finished with that yet. <sighs> I need to know what colour I'm going to put in the exclamation mark. There's still some other bits to do to these other nails here um, before they are done. Um, this one, I am wondering, maybe I can put a little... Honestly, I'm taking this pop art to my own place. So, if you don't see the comic sense, oops, of this nail, then something is wrong. No joke. Did I already say how? Ooh, what are you doing? <laughs> Getting bloody carried away, that's what. Did I already say that I never made the coffee yet, guys? I have not made the coffee. I haven't. I haven't I haven't been downstairs. Yes. Oh, you see, that's what bugs me out. Okay, I'm wiping it. That's what I'm doing. I'm literally wiping it off. <sighs> Take a deep breath. And dot again. So... Oh, what, the dot there? Yeah, let's do the dot there. And um, I want... Oh, gosh, my kids are sick. I can hear them sneezing and I'm just like, oh my gosh, keep that to yourself, please. 
I always say to them, like, I'm your last defense, last line of defense. Get me ill. It's the trenches. Uh... Yes. 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 Um... Just make sure that dot is not too... Alright, I'm not going to play with this any longer. We're going to put her in the lamp. Alright, let's just kill that little bit there. So, with this other nail, we've hit 31 minutes, guys. Honestly, this video is long already. So, I'm going to start off this last nail and so you see what... I'm just using my dotting tool. And remember I said that that pencil drawing was literally just more of a, a guideline. Okay. I'm still going to use my brush to just make it make sense because right now it's just like a blob. Um, okay. So I'm going to define that. And then like these bits, I do want them to be white. I think I went in a bit too heavy there. A bit too heavy handed. Like, what are you doing? So we'll have to take some of it off. I, I, I don't know why. You know, sometimes you make a mistake and it's very clear it's a mistake and you're still trying to tell yourself it's not a mistake. You're wasting time. <laughs> That's what I literally just did. I was trying to tell myself, so actually this one, maybe make this one just a tiny bit bigger. So we got, we got big and we want medium. A little bit. Well, yeah, so that's all right. You can see the speech box. So I'm going to sort that out. Now, on this nail, we had done all of this stuff. So there's some other little bits that um, I really wanted to, to add on the nail. So I'm thinking like where this one is, like this sort of color. I am thinking, I wonder if like this blue would be too much or if I do white. That's my dilemma, literally. So, cause I've already got white on the nail and black on the nail, I definitely wanna have a different color on there. Um, but this one I'm thinking, well, what if I used like the baby pink? And I definitely need to locate my tiny dotting tool. I need a smaller one. Um, now I have never done anything like this. But basically, you know, the pop art, it's got the dots. So that's what we are trying to do here. Now, I'm not going to do them all the same size, but I didn't want the big side, the biggest side of the dotting tool. But it's all got to be covered, I believe. Okay. So... This is what we're doing. Now. I am using a lighter pink. Uh, Don't blog me now. All right, let's just have a look at that. Okay, so that's one nail down. Okay, it just feels like we needed 
something there. So I'm going to do this to the rest of the nails and this, I'm going to come back with that all over the other nails that need it. Um, and this nail, definitely the job for this nail is to fill it in. That's all that we want to do here. I want the white in the middle. So guys, this has absolutely been fun. My client has fallen asleep. She's gone. I told her, I said, look, I'm a beginner. So we take our time. But guess what? In between, we've been doing lasagna, quiche, jackie potatoes. Oh, what the, what is that? What is that? What is that? What did I, what, what, what? Oh my gosh. So yeah, I'm just getting the white in there. And this, I can just make that a bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I want to sort this out. I want it to be like definitely more like a bubble. You know what I mean? So we're still here, guys. This is how this nail is looking. We've put the, you know, the black around the rims. I just got to make sure I've covered the rims because, you know, We've got some polish that's kind of gone over. But I'm going to blame that on the sticky tack that got touched. Now, I'm going to go around this white bit, but just really in this area here. Um, yeah, just in that area. I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it white. I do think I will. But um, I'm just, I think just like here if i go around the black like that i think okay so we're finished there she is what do we think the colors right so yes what the what WTW. What the what? Yes. Oh, yes. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for spending time with me and my client. Do you think she's happy? She's left me some change down below. Um, I will show you again what her vision was. Don't forget, she came in here with a drawing. Like, that's the thumb yes 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 please she was about to run out of here she didn't even want to model and take these pictures so this is what we did guys i hope you enjoyed this video yes i'm gonna show them i'm gonna show it to them she's like oh don't show them that picture again i'm gonna show it to them let me know what you think guys in the description box i know this video was slightly longer but guess what guys we did so much we really did um like remember this is what she was talking about so that was the thumb. She wanted some ombre, pink, pink. The bling, I did try, helped her out a little bit there. Um, we did the well, we got the mouth, we got the exclamation mark, and I did put the dots and spots. So this bitch says she wants a close-up. What the what? Let me know what you think, guys. This is my version of a pop art comic nail. And yeah, I absolutely had fun. My client seems to have had fun. She's she she can't wait to get out of here. I'm doing one more video. I told her I got to do real. I got to do TikTok. You need to chill. She honestly she she thinks I'm joking. Like honestly, I'm just trying to get some shots, some pics, and like I had to just pause there because she needed to call an Uber. Anyway, guys, I love you so much. Mama Does Nails is out. Please keep your bells on so you can catch me in the next one. And if you did like this video, give me a like, guys. Mwah. Catch me in the next one. Bye.